I jumped the gun, but now we're live. If we weren't live before, guys, we are now. Uh, I'm here with a guest. You can probably see him online here. Uh, one of my new best friends, because I don't have too many. So if you talk to me for more than 30 seconds, you're a friend for now, and then we know how I get. I'm fickle. Uh, <laughs> is a comedian Joey Calloway, and you can find out more about Joey even after the show if you want on his website. Wait, is, John, John, yes, well, if, we, if we could, they should know that it's actually Callahan. Oh, well, I keep, and, and you know what, Callahan, I, I apologize, Joey. That's okay. Uh, I really do. And I even have it written. No, no, Joey Calloway will be your guest next week. So that's That's fine. true. And there it is. I even have it written. There you there go. Myself. But the problem is reading apparently not as fundamental as I thought. Sure. Um, but it is, it is Joey Callahan and he has a website. So it's a good thing you said that so we can get him to the right website too. Yeah. Don't go to Joey Callahan. I know Joey Callahan. No, no, Joey no, Callahan. that right? guy. He's they, not they're, fun. They're, they're going to take his down, I think. He sells Some, insurance. You don't want that. He's a joke. No, you don't want that. Don't want that. No, that's, that's not good at all. No, uh, come to I am gonna, Callahan .com. That's the There track. it is, joeycallahan.com. I have, I have a pyramid scheme. Other than that, you'll find it's fine. Oh, well, pyramids are okay. Well, they're part of history. Yeah, so that's right. have pyramids, If you can get two friends to sell a pyramid and they can get two friends to sell a pyramid. And so on and so on. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Where do we go? Um so I do apologize, Joey. I mean, and no I even said that no worries. all week long. I said, stop it. And then uh, I still messed up. Um, so I am trying to bring something up here to see if we're, I don't care about CBD oil. And apparently I need to get a new blocker on something. Here we go. I'm trying to see. Yes, we are on Facebook Live as well. Okay, uh, cool. So if you are, on, or at least on my page, and then uh, Joey, we see it later. If you want to share it to yours later or something, we can do that. Or if you have it. Or I will try and uh, actually it should show because I think we're Facebook friends, so you might see it. Okay, and, and, and it and might Dennis, say John Harris lot. Dennis Ingeraldi says, Dennis, "There we go." Joey Galloway was a yes. football player. Uh, that was Galloway, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dennis is our sponsor for one of our sponsors for what's in John's cup, and we'll go through that later. But you're close. I don't think he's a football player, Dennis. I think you're thinking of Joey Galloway. But either way, I screwed up. So, <laughs> and Dennis will not be surprised I screwed up. We've been friends a long time, and uh, and I don't know why. He probably doesn't know why either. So, uh, but uh, he's a good guy, and I'm glad to see you're on, Dennis. Thank you. Uh, Joey here is a very funny guy. Let me tell you something. But I'm going to let him tell you about what he's got going on. No pressure, Joe. By the way, no pressure. <laughs> um, we we got one viewer, Dennis, and he and he screwed up the football player. I'm yeah, he pressure. screwed up. Yeah, he oh, screwed wait, up. He's back. He screw, I screwed up in his screw up. Oh, he'll be on for a little bit, probably. My problem is I can't see that well because of that eye thing. So maybe I can maybe I can put this up on the big screen and we can go from there. Uh hey, oh, Margie those, on. those of you those of you who are listening, this is a really easy show to do because I've not been able to get a word in edgewise. John's been doing all the talking. So yeah. it's really relaxing for me. It is, but pretty soon Joey's gonna do all the talking once I get a couple things sorted out here. Uh there it is. Joey. Okay. Joey, I am going to turn it over to you because you're here for that reason. <laughs> Boy, Margie, Margie actually has a rather tough last name. Ho Man. Yes. Ho Man. Yes. Ho Man. Ho Man. Which, That's a tough last name. It, it's, 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 it could be a tough one to deal with. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to meet your father, Margie. No. no well, I don't know if you could at this point, but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, Margie's a loyal listener. But yeah, Margie's a burgeoning, I guess burgeoning is the right word, fledgling uh, comedian herself, trying to uh, uh, go out there and get stage time and do her thing. Which is uh, really so, easy during a pandemic. It's so easy to get stage time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm going to try and throw you some softballs, Joey. That was a good one. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was... Uh, that's true because you know you're not fighting a whole lot of people. You really aren't. Uh, it's wide open stage time. Um, yes. You know, and the crowds are very. Um, well, you won't get a lot of hecklers. You know, <laughs> at this point, you, it, it's you just it's, a lot of us have been on, haven't been on stage in a year and a half, and That's we're going to go back on stage now. And holy mackerel, is there some major rust that we're dealing with? As oh far yeah. As Oh crap! I did that joke when I should not have done that joke until later when I do that joke, and then there's a callback. But I didn't do the joke, so I can't do the callback. Oh, can't do the callback. And I'm yeah. like, ah! And you walk away. 
you'll see comedians walking away going, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So I, just, I stepped on that or I did this. And um, I, I think, uh, let me see if I can bring this up here so I can see these comments and read them. That would be nice. Uh, I could read them for you. I, I could be like Ann Sullivan. You could be like uh, Helen Keller. Oh, I read them to you. right about now, after today, I, I do feel like Helen Keller. It was, it was not supposed to go like this today, but it did uh, once I got there. So that's not uh, it's not necessarily a good thing. Um, but as they say, the show must go on. So let's let it go on. Um, I might be able to. You might see me hold a magnifying glass up here. I'm high tech here. I'll tell you, Joey. Um, uh, everyone uh, wants to what? Everyone wants to add something. There we go. Everyone wants to add a L to go something. I don't know. Sorry, Margie. Uh, so, Joey, I want you to tell us about, I saw your trailer. It's hysterical. Oh, thank you. Very kind. Um, and, and tell these folks what FOD stands for. Yeah, so it's my, my new dry bar comedy special just came out. Now, the, the thing about that is, I shot that February right. of 2020, right before the shutdown. Oh, so I, flew, I flew to Provo, Utah, Salt Lake, drove to Provo, right. did it for Dry Bar. They're wonderful people. It's right. it's called Joey Callahan, the notorious notorious FOD, father of daughters, because I'm a father of two daughters. <laughs> okay, and I do a lot about my children and my act, right. and uh, and it, it seemed like a natural title for me. Yeah. Yeah, I, under those circumstances, I would think so. And at least the one story on the trailer, I'm like, yeah, well, it's an appropriate name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I talk about both of my girls. I, I live with all women, so I, I got it down to a science. I just wake up and apologize to the first one I see. Oh, you know, you're, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. You're right, I'm I didn't consider sorry. your feelings. I wasn't listening. Well, they, they've said, people have said, whoever they are, and you ever notice people say they, and then we don't know who the hell they are. Mm -hmm. uh, but people have said, that the best couple of things to do when you're married, for one thing, and I would think it's the same thing if you have daughters in the house, is is uh, best best phrases to learn are "I'm sorry" and "You're right." <laughs> yeah, the four most important things you could do is keep your mouth shut. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. definitely, mm -hmm. but uh, no, mm -hmm. no. I mean, it's even funny because mm -hmm. I have two Labradors, and even the dogs are girls. So I live with all. Oh, women. It's just, I. I just, you don't have a shot. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you ever read that comic book, Why the Last Man Standing? It's about an apocalypse where all men are killed except for this one guy. That's what I feel like in my house. Oh, man. Yeah, a friend a friend of ours uh, in South Jersey is a comic, and he's got five daughters and is living with his five daughters who are of that same age group. I think the youngest is 12 and then up into the 20s. And, uh, and an ex-wife. Oh, wow. What's his name? Andy Julia. Okay, give him a plug. He's Give yep. him a plug. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a pretty funny guy. He's a good guy. But he is, he's, and I know for a fact, he is living with five daughters and his ex-wife. Wow. <laughs> he's got, and some of his, some of his material is that. He doesn't stick with just that. But yeah, so I'm sure some of us will know uh, what you're going through, but uh, he's, he's a good guy. But it just reminded me of that. And I remembered, oh my God. And then I saw yours and went, yeah, the trials and tribulations in that situation <laughs> have got to be brutal <laughs> well the nice thing about dry bar is you have to be clean i mean you have to be clean okay anyway. and that was going to be my question is yeah i noticed that i thought it was clean but obviously it was only a trailer and i'm like but everything i've seen that you've uh that you mentioned there's nothing in it that says mature language or anything and you don't have to be dirty i mean if you got material like you have there's no reason to be foul or vulgar it's just funny my approach has always been to be funny and clean, but to be mm -hmm. funny and clean. I, I never, I never really set out to be clean. It's just how I am. I, I don't, I'm not, I, it was, it was not a manual decision. I, when you go on stage, you just are kind of an exaggerated version of who you are off stage, and that's who I am yeah. off stage. I just, I mean, just it suits me. It's, it wasn't intentional. I assure you. Um, you uh, hopefully I'll agree with you because that's, but you made the point. I just think you're more natural and more funny if you're natural as yourself or, like you said, an exaggerated version of yourself. Yeah. But the basic is still you. And, you know, that's when you're funny. You know, that's that's when people are at their funniest when they're trying to do this. Well, I mean, ultimately, if you made your friends laugh or you made people in your living room, there's a great movie called Mr. Saturday Night. Saw it. Crystal. Yeah. yeah. And basically the beginning opening credits of 
of is him making his family members laugh in the living room. Ultimately, yeah. that's how you want to make the audience feel. You want to make them feel that very intimate experience. That it's just you and them, and you're just making them laugh. So that's right. the beauty of stand-up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so how long have you been in comedy, Joe? Oh, my God. My whole life, it seems like. It, it's. Uh, um, I grew up in a bar. My aunt and uncle owned a tap room in Philly. That's material. <laughs> if I could make my uncles laugh, they would give me shots of beer. I I, I lived on liverwurst and beer. Um, <laughs> I, when I was in high school, I was a street performer. I juggled. Uh, in college, I started doing uh, open mics. So I, I've been on stage my whole life. So wow. Wow. My first open mic, I was it was like 1989, I think. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I worked very hard to maintain anonymity. So it's I guess so at this point. Yeah. I bet now are you in Philly now? Are you at I'm in Philadelphia right now? I'm literally in, in the city proper uh right now in my bedroom trying to figure out wow. how this stupid light thing works. So <laughs> well, I can see you fine if everybody okay, else okay. Yeah, no, we can I can see you fine. Yeah. I didn't want Margie to have to strain. No, we don't want that. No. Um because that, that guy who can't read the comments is going, no, I can see you fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. I, have a huge yeah, I can head. see you. I just, uh, I'm not great with the comments right now. Uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to see something here, but it's not necessarily uh, working on that. On the big screen, of course. Of all the things that wouldn't work on uh, is the big screen. It's a story of my life. Uh, <laughs> but let me see what I got here. Um, I'm going to try uh, bringing this back over here so maybe I can see them on this joey but you've been doing it uh since you were a kid really right you said oh yeah my whole life yeah yeah wow uh what got you started doing it professionally i i think i just wanted to my whole life i mean the first time i saw the dick van dyke show i fell in love with the idea of being robert petrie and yeah. i just i just had a natural love of stand-up and i i've just always drawn to it as a kid and and would just love to watch it oh yeah and it, um, it just it fit again like i said about being clean on stage i didn't think about it it's just who i was just getting on stage it just was a natural thing i i i don't know how to explain it other than it felt like it was the right thing for me to do yeah and that's and that's a not like you said it's natural Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just seems I mean, like, it's just who you are, and it's what you did. So people, don't, people don't went to Catholic schools. The nuns would always talk about what was your vocation, what was your calling. <laughs> yeah, so, your calling. My bad. Yeah, I would say this is yeah, definitely. That's good. That's awesome. Now, where can they? See, where can folks see the video? Or well, is it not a video? If it's not a video, I'm sorry. Whatever, whether you have it on. Uh, yeah, no. So, so you, if you go to YouTube under Dry Bar, you can see right. uh, a little bit more of it. But uh, if you go to drybarcomedy.com, okay, Drybar with comedydynamics.com. So yeah, okay. drybarcomedy.com, and uh, there's a whole bunch of comedy specials on there too. A lot of my friends. So it's 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 a fantastic site for comedians. Uh, drybarcomedy.com, right? I, I looked yep. at that a couple minutes the other day, and I was like, this looks pretty. Pretty good. It looks. It's first off, it looks legitimate, but I was like. There's really some people on there that really look like uh, I've either heard of or want to at least check out and investigate. It's uh, interesting it because a lot of the dry bar people are like Midwest, um, Southern, and right. now all of a sudden there's this influx of what I would call like the Philly, New York, Jersey contingency. Right. There's specials coming up. Like I would, I always plug him because he's so funny, but Mike Gaffney is a comic. Yes. He's got a I've special. Heard of him. Incredibly funny. Uh, Chris Monty's got one coming out. So, yeah, so there's – watch mine and stay for the rest. There you go. There you go. But you oh, and also, you know what? If, if you use the promo code – listen, I'm the worst salesperson. If you use the promo code Joey Callahan, right. you get a free seven-day trial. And Ooh. what I would tell people to do is watch my special and cancel it. Right, exactly. Or – and, and you know, and you know, Dry Bar knows that too. They know that the people are going to do something like that, but they're hoping that you know a few people click. You know, mm -hmm. hopefully somebody will say, "Hey, okay, this is working for us." So use your promo code, folks. You heard it right here from the man himself. And no, it's not Joey Calloway and Dennis. Don't use Joey, Joey Calloway. Calloway. No, no, it's Joey Callahan. Okay, and that's, that's right. your promo code on DryBarComedy.com. And yeah, we're being, uh, we just got joined by Dennis Sladkey. David Slatkey. Oh, Dave Slatkey. Is he on Hi, there? Hi, David. 
Dave, Slack A. Dennis and Margie. I don't know if Dave knows them or not. He may have met them, but I don't know if he knows them. There you go. Uh, I am trying. I'm, I'm still fighting this part, too. Uh, I will tell you that tonight's show briefly is brought to you by our What's in John's Cup contest, which is always your choice of what drinks do we have. Um, but tonight we're going to forego uh, uh, the guests for what drinks we have. Uh, but uh, I do want to mention Dennis at Vineland Realty, which is in South Jersey, Joey. Uh, down, oh, there you go. Down in Vineland. Uh, what do they say? Well, the I know Vineland city. well. It's a good town. Uh, Dennis, maybe you should hook up with Joey uh, and see maybe about the Landis Theater. Dennis does a lot of work with the city. Uh, okay, and I, I would love to do the Landis Theater. That would be great. Oh, yeah. Maybe with uh, you and a couple other a couple other folks, that would probably be a nice show. Uh, and uh, – uh, it, it's at 634 East Landis Avenue with Violent Realty Corp. For all of your residential business property needs down here, Dennis and his girl Friday, uh, Helen, will, and the rest of the staff will, will help you whether you want to rent a place out, whether you want to lease a place, buy, sell, whether it's business, whether it's residential. Go down there and see Dennis at Violent Realty, 634 East Landis Avenue in Violent. So you know where Landis Avenue is, the, the main drag, Joey. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's right there in the main drag, uh, right off 6th Street, 6th and 7th. Uh, head on down there and see Dennis and the crew, and uh, they'll help you out. Any of your real estate needs, uh, they'll be able to help you out. So that's uh, Violent Realty Corp, folks. Um, their number, 856-690-9500. Uh, uh, and you can look them up on Facebook as well. And that's uh, Violent Realty Corp. And we want to thank Dennis for sponsoring the show and uh, making this a little possible this evening. So, Joey, what happens when you – let's get back to you, Joey, damn it. Sure. <laughs> no, I, I want to talk about Dennis. I, I want to – Yeah. Learn more about uh, real you estate. can see the comments and Dennis gives you a chance to, to connect or something. Uh, so you know. so De Dennis wants everyone to know that a local comedian is in a play at the Landis Theater, Mike KC. Yes, Mike KC, and you'd like it's Mike. Oh, Calcutta, and it's all nude. So it's it's, it's and Mike's in it. All, it's Oh, Calcutta, right. and it's, it's it's a lot of nudity in that play. But Mike KC is fantastic in it. Oh, uh, he's fantastic. If you know what I mean. That's a big draw right there. Well, that, well, that's Mike KC. He's a big draw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you finally got that one. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't express it real well at first. That's okay. I picked up. You dropped it. I picked it up. There okay. you go. That's and that's the important part. But uh, Mike Casey's a very good, very funny guy uh, out of Vineland as well. Um, so uh, yeah, thanks for reading that because yeah, I'm I'm not uh, I'm, I'm struggling with that a little bit. So folks, if if I'm not reading your comments tonight. Uh, I'll, I'll read them. Don't Joey's worry. going to read them since he's the I went to Catholic school. I'm not like this public. I can read. No, no he can read. And that's part of my yeah. problem is most of mine was public school. Dennis is Catholic school, so he can, he, he'll, he'll be able to communicate with you. <laughs> uh, so, Joey, when you get a heckler, because I'm sure there's a couple people on here still uh, watching and will watch later on and listen. Um, uh, do you remember your first heckler? And that's sometimes tough when you've been in it for a long time. Yeah, my uncles. Uh, yeah, family <laughs> members. Uh, family, right? Always family. <laughs> overly critical mother. Yeah, so. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, no, I mean. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, mine was a beaut. <laughs> but I have to say, like, like, what's a heckler? Like, I always define them as a lot of times people come to a show and they just don't know how to perform it in a live audience. They right. get so excited that you, you make them feel so intimate. They feel that they can talk to you, forgetting that they're in a room full of people and there's a show, right? Yeah. And that's that's majority of what people and are. That, not you're right. My very first one was did exactly that. Yeah, not, not a heckler. But then you yeah. have the guy who's with his girlfriend who's got a chip on yeah. his shoulder because the girlfriend's laughing at you and not they and not him. funny. Then, yeah. then, then, then you want to involve himself to show that he wants to prove that. So, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I thought it is. So, um, yeah, how do you handle that? Well, I mean, typically, um, I'll kind of give him a little bit of a bump and just right. a little say something, and then I'll progressively get a little bit more aggressive. And then, if it comes to who's going to be the alpha male, I'm going to be the alpha male. Well, it's, you have it's, to, I'm, I'm yeah. going to draw the line in the sand. And I'm going to, you're done. 
Right. And, and and I won't I won't get dirty. I, I won't I'll get very subtle and I get very mm -hmm. I'll go right for the throat. Yes. Yeah. So, I go right for the I admit that uh I my language does cross the line, but I do go mm -hmm. Uh, it, but it has to get to a certain point. We, uh, and I won't say it to you unless you, in all honesty, if it's at me, I'm usually not as bad. But if it's directed, like I've hosted shows and produced shows um, or have sat back to watch. I've had a couple of times where I just went in to watch some friends and they were getting it bad. Um, so then the host, one time the host called me on stage and said, just do it. If you want to do it, just do it. I said, you sure? He goes, yep. All right. All right. And uh, but uh, but that's when they've attacked other people and gotten rude and really vulgar and nasty and crude. Uh, you know, that's that's uncalled for, even from an audience member. And uh, so, you know, that's a rare thing. Like you said, it's usually somebody who wants to just involve themselves and you give them a little rope. And when it gets to a certain point, you just got to. Yeah, the majority, of the, the majority of the people never had that problem. Right. So. That's true. That's true. Well, a lot of times it depends on the venue too. You know, you're, at this time, this point, you're sitting at a bar or you at a bar, and uh, you know you got a few people that it's a bar, it's not at a club. Well, thank God I'm at the point of my career where I'm working theaters and I'm working clubs or casinos. Right. Uh, I'm not. I, I haven't done a bar gig in quite a long time. Uh, there's a there's a comic I saw. Rich Carucci out of uh, North Jersey. And I, I remember who he is. Yep. Yeah, it was either in in, the, in New York or if it was in Jer North Jersey. And his show, he was in front of a pool table and there was an ATM machine. I went, oh, thank God I'm past that part yep. of my career. Did that. I did that. Actually, down in uh, Williamstown, there was there was a show that went on nightly, uh, weekly. And it was an open mic and all that stuff. And same thing. You walk upstairs and there's a pool table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And glass doors behind you and the bar. And, yeah, so uh, to the point of where the guy putting on the show, this was a great guy, uh, Dave Dave D, Dave Dudley, built his own stage to bring in every week or had it hidden there and would put a stage up. So, I mean, it was one of those kinds of things. When you're first starting out, you, you hustle. You know that. You do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, when I started, it was during the comedy boom. So okay, yeah, I could work five, six, seven nights a week in multiple shows. I would go from club to club to club, which okay. is a great way to really just sharpen and hone your act. Yeah. The problem is now we're we're in an environment now where um we're in an we're in an environment now where we don't know what's going on. So I'm telling everyone, get the goddamn vaccine. I don't care right. about your political affiliation. If I gotta right. be locked in with my wife and kids for another year, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> get the goddamn vaccine. There's no microchips. I'm there's tired. no. There's no, we. They've done enough research in the in the in the, in the CRISPR technology. Get the goddamn vaccine. Uh, uh, and then at the very end, you gotta go. And I love my wife and kids. Uh, I, no, if I get locked yeah. in with them again, it's going to be a murder suicide. Oh yeah, the cops exactly. are going to come in and go. Yeah, we don't know who did what. We don't know who did what. Dead. It's just not. It's too hard to tell. That's right. <laughs> you just leave a note. If they took the vaccine, dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But again, seriously, if, if you don't get it, I'm going to find you. <laughs> I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. I'm going to hunt you down. I'm going to get you before COVID gets you. So <laughs> you got a choice, folks. It's either this yeah. or it's this. It's either so. this or it's this. <laughs> Which either way or. do you want to? So, uh, and and we don't mean to make light of it, but I understand what you're saying completely. Uh, you know, people have you know, to. No, I actually mean to make light of it. That's why we're all here. Oh, it's yeah, but I mean, not, not light of the disease, but you're right. Light of the whole situation because. Sure. You have to. If you take well, it that's seriously, we were saying, like, um, I, I was asking people on stage last night. I was in Asbury Park, and I was like, uh, it's just off the, kind of off the cuff. I, I asked people if they gained weight during the pandemic. My my thought was, I wasn't sure if I was going to get COVID, but I am definitely fast tracking type two diabetes. I'm there. So, <laughs> I had it already, and now the numbers went up because yeah, I can't. You, for the longest time, you couldn't go to the gym. You couldn't go do these things. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But you know, it, it's how you adapt and how you live with these things. And yeah, I mean, you have to making light of the situation is part of what's going to get us through it. Well, what do they say? Comedy is pain plus time. That's yeah. comedy. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um 
Well, folks, we do a couple things. We're not doing movie reviews tonight because I, um, you'll see Joey that, uh, or, or you'll find out, or if you haven't already noticed, um, there's not a whole set format. I just have certain things I do, and then I open it up to these folks. Um, but of course, okay. tonight it's hard to read. I am a, I'm a guest here. I'm enjoying John and Margie's uh, back and forth. Dennis and Margie, no, Margie and Dennis. They're, yeah. they're, 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 I think they're having an affair. I, I think the if I'm not, the chance, yeah. <laughs> I can't read any of them. I'll end up reading it like later on on the big screen or something and read all the comments. I just see a little like there's these like blurps here, like Dennis, nice, all nude. Then Margie oh. says, "Is it well founded?" So see, <laughs> when you read it, when you read them out of context, it seems dirtier than it is. So oh, nice. That's good. <laughs> John, we can tell you work out. So there are things like that. Oh, that's Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis already knows better. So that, that will tell you he's lying his ass off. <laughs> Dennis, you jerk. But uh, well, you're my buddy, pal. Uh, but uh, so this this uh, thing on, on Dry Bar Comedy, that was done in Utah, you said? Yeah, so we did it in Provo, Utah. Okay. And we, we, we taped two specials. Um, one after the other okay and, uh, it's been cool it's been really good that's good that's good now are you going back on the road anytime soon or i've got some dates i mean i i definitely have dates in the book um, right and um we're slowly getting out of it or at least we were trying to get out of it um, right i'm hoping to be back in atlantic city sometime around october at the borgata um, oh that'd be nice yeah, um, um, I'll, I'll talk to Dennis about getting into Landis Theater. That would be yeah, great. Uh, yeah, we could do a dry bar. Get all, the, get all the East Coast comics who have done dry bar and come to do a tour there. Um, That'd be nice. Um, I, I'm, I've got private stuff. I've got corporate gigs booked, lined up. So I'm slowly getting there. I mean, I worked last night in Asbury Park. So it, it's coming. It's just trying to get some traction and trying to get yeah. the dates going. Yeah. What what are the crowds like? Are you getting good size crowds or? It depends. I mean, yeah, pe I really think that people really want to want to come out. They want their lives back. We they want it to be the Roaring Twenties. I really believe that. Right. And and I really think that um, once this breaks, if we get past it, and the economy keeps picking up, things are going to be great for all of us for the next couple of years. Yeah, I think that'd be great once we start to recover. And mm -hmm. people are going to want to hear comics discuss this whole thing. Uh, well, I, I think I think there's two schools of thought on that. There's the comics having their interpretation of what happened, and I don't think people are going to mind a couple jokes to acknowledge it. Right. I think people want to forget it. They want they just want to laugh. Yeah. They don't want to be reminded of it. In my opinion, well, that's probably that's a, my that's opinion. Probably a good point. And sometimes it's too soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's too soon. You just get out of it. It's timing. Um, I mean, uh, we probably you probably remember the Gilford Gilbert Gottfried. Uh, scenario with the tsunami yeah. i mean uh he came close to losing everything forever you know and he had to fight back from that and let's face it that was probably timing as well as you know the content but the content was probably not as bad in that case as the timing it was right well, after. I, I know i know he lost the affleck contract he lost he that he lost a lot of stand-up gigs too well yeah I, I, but i also know that he i believe he kept he was the voice of Affleck for Europe and other, and other continents. So well, the, he, he's he's fine. He, he oh no, he's not hurt. He got great press from that. He's been back on. He was back on a lot of the Comedy Central roasts, and he's been yeah. back on some things. Uh, he actually played in Hammond a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, he was it was just him at, at a. I'm trying to remember the 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 cathedral. It's called. It starts with a K. It used to be a actual uh, Catholic cathedral in Hammond. Mm -hmm. And then they, the diocese, got rid of it, sold it. How do you uh, how do you sell? Like I I walked by in the city and in Philly, there's like a church for sale. Like how do you let's ask Dennis that because how would you list a church for sale? Like former owner, creator of the universe. Yeah. Like, how, <laughs> how do you? <laughs> that is how, do, how do you how do you ever reply to the home inspection? Like. <laughs> Can I get a, can I get some can kind I of seller's little, yeah. can I get some kind of seller's assist with this please? Hey, can, hey, 
you know, we need some paint here. <laughs> Can we get, you know, just a check? Yeah. I'm good, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, how would you like <laughs> to be the appraiser that under appraises a church and have to deal with God? That would not. That, yeah, that would, would, would be good. You know, yeah. Whoa, speak of that. The light just went on. Oh, I see the light. I see yeah. the light went out and behind you, but, uh, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, yeah, the creator of the universe. How do you say that's good? I mean, um, I, yeah, and they do have to go through a, a procedure to make it a non Catholic uh, ordained property, I guess. I think it's de declassification or something. You have to unconsecrate or deconsecrate. Yes, deconsecrate was the yes. one term I heard. Catholic school yeah. training. Yeah, there you go. It kicked That's in. Right. I only had one at the time. They called it marking period. That'll tell you how old I am. And then, uh, then even my grandparents went, Your knuckles are too red. <laughs> You're risky losing your, any more blood out of your hands from the rulers. <laughs> we got to get you out of there. We thought it would help you. Yeah, yeah that's not. It's, apparently, you're too stubborn and dumb to realize, so we can't let you stay for your own. So thing. Dennis just Dennis just wrote a higher power will give you some sellers as incentives. So that's <laughs> is that well, three percent? Dennis, is that three percent or six percent? Well, <laughs> how high can you go with that incentive? I don't know. Dennis should know. He's Mister Real Estate as well as you know, uh, type with the big guy upstairs. So <laughs> he should be able to know. <laughs> he said he'd get a little discount. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a there's a couple things we do, and I'm going to see if I can read. Oh, there's a couple of celebrations today. Today's a national day. Uh, it's only listing four or five, and I'm not going to go into detail on them uh, as far as any more. There's National Fajita Day. Uh, I am upset with myself that I missed that one. Mm, well, it's you, you can eat. It's a simple ride to Taco Bell. You'll be fine. It's true. Quick, quick ride. And there's a Mexican restaurant within walking distance, literally. So I guess I can make a call and go pick up something. And because it's important that we celebrate the important holidays. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, mail order catalog day. They should probably change that to, you know, uh, Amazon Day or something again. Well, I think there is an Amazon, Amazon Prime Day. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, National Ice Cream Pie Day, which I don't know if I've ever heard the term ice cream pie. Yeah, that sounds like ice cream cake, which is always yeah, on your birthday. That would be, yeah, like a Carvel thing. You know, mm -hmm. what is it, the whale or whatever? They were good. Oh, National yeah. Pinot whale, Noir Day. You know, if you're a whiner, that, not that kind of a whiner. If you're whiny, I don't know, not that kind of a whiny. Either. If you just like to get drunk on wine, that's your day right there. Uh, and Congressional Startup Day, which, which is like another whiny day. day, another day for us to be whiners about. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. whiner. so uh, they're the big ones today. To me, the most important one is probably the Fajita Day, the one that we should be celebrating the most. I think out of that list, I don't see any others. Um, you know, one that I saw uh, not so long ago, and and we all shared it on here was. Um, Probably about a month or six weeks ago, there was National Naked Gardening Day. Ooh. <laughs> Possibilities are endless on that. I'm like, you got to be kidding me with that. That's really a day. And I looked and went, that's really a day. That's, wow. that, that, that's when you hear the term. Yeah. yeah. When, when you're planting. Yeah. That's, yeah. You want to be careful. Great. Yep. Yep. Are you sowing the seeds? What are you doing there, pal? Is that a hoe? Yeah. Um, yeah, you got it. Is that a hoe? Or are you just happy? To, you know, it's not. It, it, the the ideas were just of all the bad things that could happen with that are bad. I mean, it, ugh, I was just like, no, no, I can't do that. Um, then we usually do weird laws in a state. In this week's Florida, there are so many weird Florida laws that we're not going to discuss them all like sometimes we do. Um, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I will try to point out a couple. Oh, Cape Coral, which is near where my brother lives, you could be fined fifty dollars for keeping a couch underneath the outdoor carport. That's weird. Uh, yeah. So if you have it, especially in Florida, I would think mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be fine. I can't see what it says, but it looks like somebody. Probably Dennis left a very long comment. All right, I think I got this here. Uh, uh, okay. Dennis says uh, <laughs> the sinks in the church are connected back into the sewer system to sell 
Remember, the sinks in the sacristy drained into the grounds only and do not dump the chalice wine uh, because it's consecrated, thinks it's transubstantiation. Uh, other than that, they sell for fair market value. So there you go. Other than that. So I'm glad he was able to point out those exceptions, and then it goes for fair market value. Thanks, Dennis. That's Dennis, why you're... Dennis, does a Catholic church get more money than, say, like a Protestant church? Ooh, good question. Good question. And and that would answer other questions as well. Like, does that mean that God is, or is it... So, yeah, that could answer. That's a deep question, Joey. Yeah. But I'm not sure we should have answered. There you go. <laughs> or that Dennis should be the authority to answer. <laughs> and will and will a synagogue only give you four percent commissions versus six percent commissions? <laughs> is it broken down or is it this one gives you that and nobody else gets anything? Catholic gives me full six percent commission. I get six percent. That's right. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, what do we got? In Pensacola, rolling a barrel down the main street is considered illegal. Uh, you could face a fine depending on the contents of your barrel. <laughs> Yes, I, I, my barrel's full of cocaine. My barrel full of cocaine. Okay. All right, you get a hundred dollar fine. You know, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's important. Uh, in the state of Florida, it's illegal to sing in public places while attired in a swimsuit. Wow. Uh, sometimes very, what I've done. Very though, specific. Yes, and some of them get specific, and then you go back. Now, I will admit that a lot of times I do research on these to find out when the law was written or what it was supposed to stop. I didn't do that this time. So uh, so uh, somebody else wants to do that, feel free. But in other words, in Florida, don't sing in your bathing suit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just that simple. Um, or, or wear a mask or get the vaccine. Or wear a mask or, or get the vaccine. Or, or not date your sister. Yes, that's very important. The sister mm -hmm. thing is, is, is almost important, too. Uh, it's, you're not allowed to fall asleep under a hair dryer uh, in, in a beauty salon in Florida. Mm -hmm. If you're in a beauty salon and you're getting your your quaff done, no falling asleep. Mm -hmm. So I won't be getting my hair done. Um, all this hair. <laughs> done in Florida anytime soon. Um, from what? Oh, this one's awesome, Joey. There's so many things you and I could probably play with on this one. In the state of Florida, a special law, it's a special law, not just your regular law, a special law prohibits unmarried women from parachuting on Sunday where they will risk arrest, fine, and or be jailed. Wow. Mm. If you're married, though, I guess it's okay. You can skydive all you want. When you're married, you do want to jump out of a plane. I was just going to say, when you're married, they probably get a lot of them jumping out. Uh, yeah. But wow, uh, that's just strange. Of course, it obviously tells you when that law was written. It wasn't any time recent. Um, skateboarding without a license is illegal. Wow, I didn't know that. You had to have a license to skateboard. Jeez. Uh, I think we're about done with these because that's enough to let you know. Yeah, we're not gonna, no, the rest of them are. Um, that should be enough to let you know that uh, there's some wacky things going on in Florida, just in case you didn't know, folks. Um, but uh, whatever you do, don't fall asleep under a hair dryer. And if you're an unmarried woman, don't do While it. jumping you, out of a plane. Don't, right, don't jump out of a plane. Yeah, don't, oh. That's a heck of a combination right there. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the thing. Your get, seat gets ejected while you're still under the dryer. You're asleep. That's that's already two strikes against you right there. Mm -hmm. And then if the parachute doesn't open, strike three, you're out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally. So, uh, so what have, have you got anything specifically planned? I know you're going out back out in the road as much as you can. Let's well, I would, ask, I, I, I would ask everyone to check me out on, please. Uh, Facebook is Joey Callahan Comedy. It's also Instagram, Joey Callahan Comedy. Okay. Twitter is Joey Callahan. And my website, www.joeycallahan.com. Joeycallahan.com. I, got oh, my, I, got, I have a YouTube channel, Joey Callahan Comedy. I did so. see the YouTube channel, too. I did see that. Thank uh, you. I looked at a couple things. No, it's, it's funny. It's worth it, folks. Uh, seriously. Joey's very funny. Uh, and what I like about it, Joey, is, is you relate 
uh, you know, to to the family household. You relate to people. Uh, it's not, you know, I was flying here and going. You know, it's like stuff in your house or stuff we've all lived through. Well, the the cool thing about that is, I um, having performed uh, in Europe and in Canada, in addition to this country, the thing I really liked about it was people would actually come up to me after a show and say, wow, it was like you, you grew up with me. Yeah. And, and so it, it, it kind of transcends geography. I mean, funny right. is funny and we all, we're all human. We all do the same thing. The difference is we always get surprised when other people also do it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing. When they, when, when an audience, member, you can see sometimes the look on their face, even if you see some people in the front row. Now, obviously some clubs, you don't see anybody. It's dark and you're just going by, laughter <laughs> i hope well, that, i was having this conversation with a new comic last night because our show it was real bright and you couldn't see the audience and he right. was really thrown i said what you got to do man is when you're on stage and you can't physically see them you're now a bat you got to use sonar and yeah. you got to you got to listen because your ears you'll hear with your ears like you'll know what's going how's it going you'll you don't physically have to see them you can feel them and that's yeah. how you kind of go with that yeah uh, and and I don't think folks realize uh, that come out the comedy clubs or come out the clubs that quite a few of them are like that. Dangerfield was was like that. Oh, it, Dangerfield was ruthless like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I loved it. That's the thing. That's the weird part. Um, There's an old joke about a comedian who was on state. You know, the the, the 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 light was so bright. He he thought I was either dead or i've been doing a, i was doing a set at dangerfield like the, the bright lights so <laughs> the bright lights set. oh they're bright outside so of the first it. row all the way around the stage you really couldn't see much and that's the perfect uh uh solution is listen especially like a place like dangerfield or another place just listen and see if you're getting the reaction that you get uh or that you hope for um, well, the other thing I, I noticed that like when i was starting to do theaters and opening for people that a comedy club has got to set up boom set up boom so you got to keep them like you got yeah yeah yeah, yeah. where yeah. a theater you tell a joke and they laugh for a much longer period of time but yeah club comics get real nervous and they start hitting them with jokes while these people are still at the apex they haven't hit the point of going down with their laughter so they're joke 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 and it's just too much you have to tell the joke listen as it starts to crash then you hit them with another joke yeah. and it starts to go down you have to learn that rhythm so you know what actually taught me that was um broadway of all places one of the bigger rooms was a couple hundred people and having a good night everybody was laughing like you said i was ready to tell the next joke but i knew i couldn't because they were laughing now, you know, are you in the comedy club or Broadway? Both. I've done both. Okay. Okay. That's what's trying so to get. Uh, uh, and, uh, it, you know, you have to wait, like you said, because actually the audience will accidentally step on your joke because you didn't wait long mm -hmm. enough. Sure. And they'll miss the first half of your joke. You got to wait. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. You got you to gotta really be careful of that. That's, that's, yeah. So you have to learn to pace yourself. That's true. That's true. And then other times you're going to realize I better tell the next joke <laughs> <laughs> and hope that that one's funnier than the one I just it didn't work, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, but uh, uh, it, it, you're right. That learning isn't just visual. You, you've got to really listen. And to me, listening is more important than, than the visual when it I'm comes different. to comedy. You know, I mean, you know, I want to hear people laugh. Yes. I want to see happy looks on their faces. That's not, but uh, I, I want to hear them laugh. I want to hear them, you know, uh, sometimes I'll go for that groan laugh. You know, there's a couple of puns and then they laugh. You know? And puns, of course, are great for eliciting groans if you want them. But uh, uh, I've always found exactly what you said is it's the sound of the laughter that makes it for me. That's great. That's great. So. Um, so you've got some show, any, uh, what do you got? You got some East coast dates lined up there that we can. Yeah. You can get all my dates at Joey. Kelly all on. Com, please. Okay. And you heard that. Yeah, I'm almost afraid to mention them because you don't know what's going to be canceled. So just, yeah. just, just, just check the website and, uh, and yeah. also, you know, you can, you can hit me up like you said on, on the Instagram and Facebook and Instagram, Twitter at Joey Twitter, Callahan. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody 
Is Margie or anybody asking you any questions? I, I thought Margie might ask you a couple. Um, Margie, do you have any questions, dear? She, if you may, I, I don't know. If, I know Dennis is. Dennis says, John, if you listened more, you would still be a lawyer. That's probably true. Yep. Oh, that's probably one of my kids calling, or somebody trying to call me and extend my warranty. Oh, uh, you too? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. warranty's probably been extended about ten times. Right. My warranty's going to outlive me. If I had kids and kids and grandkids, can you transfer your warranty to them? Um, I think that would be a big question for them. Can my warranty be transferred to you know when I die? <laughs> I'm getting a feeling that that might not be the case. No. Oh, and they. I don't know about you, but I almost want to get a hold of Congress. Go, you know that do not call thing. Well, you know that doesn't work. Um, and how about that? Do not email me with spam crap. You know, please, uh, it's just a mess. I like to get a, a national register for Jehovah Witnesses. Do not, not. Yeah, do not me. come to my. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Margie's got a question here, John. She wants to know what your favorite experience was on stage. What mine was? Sure. What was yours? Ooh. Uh, I would say the what there was one night in Broadway that was really good. At, at that was at Broadway Comedy Club that was really good. Um, I've had a few, but that was that was one that was, uh, you know, when when they ask you to come back out for five minutes after the show was over, me and the headliner for five minutes each, just to, you know, that was really great. Uh, and that was the same night with the people I told you about at the bus station. I was like. Ah, well, actually, really Mar Mar I don't mean to interrupt there, but Margie just said, no, you, Joey. So she, she didn't want to hear what you had to say. I, no, I, I just misread that. Right there. <laughs> I was like, this can't really be about me. I and know I was, what you're saying, Margie. I want to see how far you can get them to go. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was like, wait a minute. I'm not the guest. <laughs> That's, uh, what the hell? It's just, no, actually, Margie, my favorite, I have to say, uh, I've had some pretty cool experiences, but one one time I was on stage at uh, Catch a Rising Star in Princeton, and there was a young man um, who was in a wheelchair, and you could see that he was it was he was pretty much not moving anywhere, and but he was laughing, and then I saw that he was laughing, and I kind of like connected with him, and I was making him laugh, and he we just had a nice connection, and it was fun, and everybody was laughing because he was laughing, he had a really specific laugh. And after the show, I was at the bar with the other comic, and this older woman came over to me and introduced myself as uh, his mother and thanked me because she said that I made him forget that he was in the chair for half an hour. I was like, oh, I, yeah. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to that. That was, yeah. that was pretty powerful. It's powerful. It's heavy. Yeah. But you know what? It, it, it's really a good thing. Uh, oh, it was great. I never forget great. it. Yeah. it yeah. It's great. She took a couple minutes to tell you that, too. But but it's really gratifying when you do something like that. That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Uh, and I've been there. But, uh, now, are they still there? I know Mike. Uh, I can't remember Mike's name. Tomasino, I think. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He passed away. He got passed rest away. Soul. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't know if they were still. I, I don't. Open. I don't know if they're open yet. I. I don't. I. My manager. Um. I, I hasn't put me there, so I, I don't know what their story is. Yeah, I don't know if they're still running that or not. Um, I knew they were in New Brunswick uh, or North Jersey, I think. Yeah, Princeton. Princeton. Uh, well, yeah. no, there was one further north than Princeton because I did. Oh, the that one. was this. The ones in New Brunswick's the Stress Factory. That's Vinny. Oh, Grant. yes, you're right. You're right. It is. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But uh, uh, w w wait, Margie has another question for you, John. When yeah. did you know you wanted to be a comedian? I think that's for you, Joey. Oh, is that for me? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm making any question that's a question is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it specifically says Margie Joe. wants to know your inseam. My inseam? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not I'm not giving that away. You go okay. answer her question about uh, that. So when did you know? I, I've always Margie. It's all I wanted to ever do when I was a kid. I just I was just uh, I I watched comedy my whole life and and I just knew that's that's what I would want to do. So. And you have enough material just from life, Joe. Yeah, I think so. I think, I mean, I'm always trying to, I mean, here's a great example. We, I have a yellow lab and yep. uh, I grilled a couple steaks in the backyard and I brought them and I put them in the counter and I went and got my wife and we come back up on the counter. The yellow lab was eating one of the steaks. And my wife said, like, she, my wife was just in shock. And the only thing I think to say is, I can't believe she ate your steak. 
<laughs> so, and I went, oh, that's a, that's a great joke. I'll just do that on stage. I'll just do that. Yeah, <laughs> so. That's terrible. A terrible thing a dog did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You got something else for uh, Joey, Margie? Yeah, please. Margie, if you have questions on comedy, if you if you want to hit me up at Joey Callahan Comedy on Facebook, I'm happy to answer any questions, anything I can do to help. Uh, Dennis is going to get us in the, what's the theater? Landis. The, 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 the John Landis, Landis theater, theater. Right on Landis Avenue. No pressure, Dennis. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Come on, I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure if you've got the Calamari Ooh. sisters, I, I don't have to be in drag. I could do it. Just, you could just do it. Yeah, as, as you in a teaser, right? Yeah. <laughs> The Calamari sisters, that would be hysterical. So, uh, unless somebody's got something here, Dennis, you can give me my sign off. Dennis gives me a written sign off, uh, and, and you'll probably know what it is, or you might pick it up. I'm not sure, but we're gonna get ready, get out of here, and let Joey go. Uh, joeycallahan.com, joeycallahancomedy.com, folks. No, no, Screw just joeycallahan.com. Joey Callahan. You are screwing right this up here. left and right. I did you not get my. Did my manager not give you my show notes? It's, it's not going away. <laughs> we got to have somebody to blame. Good. Let's blame the manager. Thank God you have a manager. Sure. I can blame Joey. Thank you. That's <laughs> right. No, no, no. Just joeycallahan.com. And, yes. And, and and I would love to love to hear from your listeners. And and uh, this was great. Thank you. It was very kind of you. Please please go to Dry Bar Comedy using the code Joey Callahan. And I would, yes. I would yeah, that's right. So I'm probably going to do that and use it for six days. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, but that would be the thing to do. Uh, drybarcomedy.com, right? And you said yep. the promo code is Joey Callahan. There it is. Um, so, and, and check out the trailer, check out his YouTube channel. Also, Joey's on Twitter, Instagram. I'm like horse shit. I'm all over the place. Facebook. There you go. So if you can't find Joey, you're not trying hard enough or you're spelling his name wrong like me okay. and Dennis. Yeah. You're calling me Joey Galloway if you're doing I'm that. Calling him, I was calling you Calloway. He was calling you Galloway. Uh, and what a, it's, what a you mess. You can call me Ray and you can call, you can me, call me Ray. Just as long as you call me and book me, I don't care. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's it. That's the key. So I want to thank Joey again. Thanks, thank Joey. you so Thanks very you. much. It was lovely. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we had a chance to catch up. Uh, and uh, anytime you want to pipe in with something, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll uh, see if we can't hook up again sometime soon. That would be great. I hope or next I hope time you have something going. Next yeah, time, I, 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 I love to have you come to the show. Oh, it'll be great. It'll be great. And then uh, I may be heading back that way in the fall again. Same thing as if everything goes right, and, and uh, if it does, there's a couple standing places I'll I may try to. Uh, uh, Go in and, and tell a couple stories. You never know. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But uh, I want to thank Joey. It's been great. It's been a pretty cool hour, man. Uh, thanks for everything. I'm just going to let you guys go on Facebook. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We will talk to you soon. Two weeks from tonight, folks, we'll be back on. Thanks, Joey. Thank and you. We'll Take care. Be you. safe. You too. Bye-bye. Please be safe. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.